In this video, I want to show you the Asset Warp tool, but more specifically, how to use it to deform and animate a single bitmap image. So I'm going to import my bitmap image. It's an image of an inchworm that I created using Photoshop. So now the next step is to select the Asset Warp tool. Just click here in your toolbox or hit W on your keyboard. And I'm going to make about five or six uh, handles using this tool by clicking directly on the bitmap itself. The mesh is detecting just the artwork itself because this bitmap has a transparent background. And so I've added uh, six handles here, as you can see, and that should be plenty. So here in the timeline, all I need to do is simply click on another frame and hit F6 to insert a keyframe. Now I'm going to start animating by moving around these handles and even rotating them. You can see here if I hover along the outer circle that's dashed, I can rotate and further deform the bitmap. So let's make this inchworm walk. So I'm going to move these handles in a way that um, represent how an inchworm or a caterpillar would walk. I want a little further down the timeline, I'm going to insert another keyframe and continue by pushing and pulling these handles to make this little character walk. And so just to show you how that looks. Let's go and I'm going to apply a classic tween. And while we're at it, let's add a little bit of easing. So I'm going to click in the properties panel where it says classic ease. I'm going to select ease in out and quad will do. And then just continue the animation. And so now just create more keyframes and continue animating. So here's the completed inchworm walk cycle, if you will. And overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So let's take this to another level. In Photoshop, I took a photo of a praying mantis and edited the parts so that they were all on separate layers. And then I imported that Photoshop file into Animate CC. And here are all the layers that make up this praying mantis. And then using the Asset Warp tool, just as I had done with the inchworm, I created handles. And using these handles, I went ahead and animated this character. And with a couple of other photographs that I shot, I placed him within a scene. So whether you're animating vectors or bitmaps, the Asset Warp Tool is a really cool new addition to Adobe Animate CC.